Hey what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video, today I'll be showing you how to make animations in Roblox Studio, how to make R6 animations, how to publish them, how to use them in scripts, how to play them, we're gonna be going over R15 animations too, how to publish those, and how to use animation spoofer as a tool to basically get animations. First of all, I want to thank you guys for 4k subs, we just hit 4k subs, I'm gonna be doing a giant giveaway soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on, you don't wanna miss that one. Also, I just opened up my academy where I teach people how to script, how to animate, and how to create VFX literally everything you need to know in roblox studio and i also teach how to get commissions how to get paid through roblox studio with developing and how to work for games how to work for big games and all that stuff so it's the first link in the description make sure you guys join that real quick we have over 50 members currently and we have people learning how to script how to animate and how to get commissions yeah but without further ado let's get right into the video so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to game settings right here and we have to go ahead and save this game's roblox so we're going to click save the roblox now if you are under a group we're going to go ahead and put anything like under the group right here but we're just doing under us so we're gonna do me we're gonna basically say animation tutorial right here animation tutorial boom we're gonna click save right here and then it's gonna prompt us up and we're gonna be ready to go and open up game settings uh, once it loads it just takes a little bit to load and then once this is open right here we're gonna go to game settings and we're gonna go to security first and we're gonna enable these two things this is very important and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to avatar and we're gonna click literally click uh, r6 or r15 now we're gonna start with r6 animation make sure this is on standard we're gonna start with r6 animations first uh, and then we're gonna go to r15 so let's hit r6 we're gonna click yes and now everything should be good and loaded up we're gonna go to avatar right here we're gonna go to rig builder now we're gonna choose r6 right here we're gonna choose block avatar to basically import a block rig inside of studio and the thing you want to go and do is you want to click animation editor right here and it's going to open up the animation editor you can like drag this out a little bit and now you can click on the dummy right here and it will prompt you an animation name so we're going to say punch right here because we're going to be doing the punch we're going to click create and that should create us a new animation now we're going to go over just a little bit of things that you guys can customize and what you can do inside this animation editor so the first thing are animation priorities and this is just really simple to know so for example each animation has a priority right here. So for example, if I play two animations at the same time, let's say we do movement and action at the same time. We go into a script and we make two animations at the same time play. Uh, if we go ahead and play two animations at the same time, what is movement and what is action? Uh, the action one will play over the movement one because the action one has a higher priority So just look at it like that. So for example idle if you're making idle animations movement if you're making a run Action if you're making punch and all that stuff because we are making a punch We're gonna do action right here now this button right here is for loop animation So basically I'm gonna show you that later on but basically when you play an animation it just plays on forever because it's one punch We're not gonna do that here you can set the uh, how how long the animation lasts we're gonna do two seconds and our six rigs are pretty simple they just uh, have the head uh, two arms two legs and a torso so they are really easy to animate so we're gonna start off by just uh, making a keyframe right here just rotating the dummy a little and then we're gonna click right here we're gonna go ahead and rotate the dummy right here if you guys don't see this rotate option just click right here and you guys will get the rotate button right there now we're gonna go ahead and bend this arm a little bit like we're gonna punch so we're gonna go like that we're gonna put this arm up we're gonna put it right here so it kind of looks like we're cocking back for a punch so see now we can go ahead and go to the next keyframe we can rotate even more rotate the head rotate this a little bit up maybe like bend this even more we can like even put it down so click r to change from modes from like moving to rotating so we can do that there we go and then we can go ahead and make a swift punch right here which is just basically rotating this completely and we can move the head so we are gonna do a punch right there there we go and then we can move this a little bit back so now it looks like we punch we can like move this to make it even quicker so boom so now it looks really smooth and then oh, maybe we can move this down too and then what we can do is we can copy this put it right here and we can like move it even more so it kind of like has a smooth effect at the end of just like tracking out and then we can even move the head so we can do it like this so it kind of follows with the head there we go now to save this animation and to publish it we're gonna go ahead and click save right here then we're gonna go to publish and then we're gonna click submit right here and it's gonna submit the animation we click this 
and like this icon right here to copy the ID and we're gonna be basically making a uh, this label inside of a tool so we're gonna go to starter pack tool and then we're gonna name this punch let's say where is it punch there we go and then we're gonna click this plus button right here and we're gonna basically add a new animation instance and we're gonna paste the ID that we just got right here now if you guys uh, don't have any rigs and you want to get animations from like an animation instance so let's say you guys download it some place or download in my game and you don't know how to put animations in you just basically click the animation instance right here and you get something called animation spoofers so you go into the toolbox click plugins right here and search up animation spoofer and it should pop you up with this one you get the v2 version now you go to plugins open it up right here it's going to be located in the plugins you might need to reset studio you go to properties copy this id right here put it right here and it will basically like preview the animation right there you can click convert and it will open up this you click submit and now you copy the id again and you can put it right here which should work normally as any other animation we're going to close this and we're going to create a new local script inside of here and we're going to put this animation right here so first of all we're going to be referencing tool so local tool equals to script.parent this is just basically referencing uh, the parent of this script which is this tool and now a very important thing we have to go ahead and disable this because we don't have a handle uh, and now we're going to be referencing the player the character and the humanoid so we're going to do local player equals to game.player.local player then we're going to do the character local character equals to uh, player.character then next thing is we're going to be referencing the humanoid so we can play the animation so local humanoid equals to character find first child humanoid now we're going to be playing this animation every time we click a tool so we're going to do tool.activated tool.activated tool connect function there we go and now what we can do is we can go ahead and play this animation so we're going to reference the humanoid first of all we want to reference the animation though so we're going to do local animation equals to script dot animation and now what we can do is we can create a track so we can do local track equals to humanoid so load animation animation there we go and the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and put track play and now this should play the track once we get in the game we are set in r6 so let's go ahead and test it out right here uh, we checked off required handle because we don't need that so when we go into the game we we'll select the tool and we we'll click, click the tool there we go see it plays an animation of our punch and now you can literally make anything in animation right here i just made a punch for an example but now the bad thing about this is because we can like spam click and look how the animation is messed up so to fix this we're going to create a simple debounce inside the script so we're going to do local debounce equals to false and then we're going to do right here if debounce equals to true then return end so if this variable is true then it return ends the script so what we're going to do here is going to do if the debounce equals to true and then we're going to do a spawn function to just basically separate this whole script in another function and we're going to do a task that way we're going to do a two second wait and we're going to use debounce and just default there we go so now if you go ahead and test the game out every time we press uh, the click button and we spam click see how it doesn't like overlap you need to wait two seconds before you play it again that's literally just as simple as that and that is how you create animations in r6 uh now for r15 is just a simple procedure but it's uh, kind of a little bit different you have more bones so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to game settings we're gonna go to avatar we're gonna select r15 as the avatar type right here we're gonna click save and this will basically convert the game to r15 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to rig builder and we're gonna click r15 and we're gonna create a new block avatar which will be placed right here now we can open up the animation editor again click it and we can make a new animation we're gonna make our same thing as a punch we're gonna go ahead and go to animation priority set it to action and then we can start customizing the dummy so we're gonna start with this uh, starter keyframe we're gonna go a little bit further and now see the difference between r15 and r6 is that r15 has uh, left hand right hand it has uh, a left foot right foot it has lower legs it has upper legs 
he has lower arms, upper arms, has two torsos. So you can literally customize hands, you can customize anything, uh, and it kind of makes the animation a little bit smoother. So we're gonna start off by uh, bending this fist right here and making this kind of guy ready for a punch. We're gonna lower this. So again, to lower this, you press R on your keyboard and you can move where this goes. We're gonna rotate this, get this ready right here. We're gonna bend this bone right here and we're gonna do that. We can also make the legs move a little so they're kind of not like static. Even the feet too, you guys can move those as well. And now we can have a, so now we have a like talk back right here, which is pretty simple. And now we can go ahead and do the next one where we kind of like bend with the dummy. And we can move the arms, move this. We can rotate this too, even like put it down a little. There we go. Boom. So now we can create a swift punch right here. We just rotate the dummy completely. Go like this. And now you guys can like bring this arm right here and bring this arm back so it's kind of like swinging. There we go. Now we can move this to make it smoother and faster. And now we can do the same thing so we can go Control C, Control V to copy. And then we can make a like full bending effect where we can like move the animation and the dummy down. So it kind of like has that lasting effect at the end where it just like rotates completely. So see, there you go. Boom. It's not the best punching animation, but you guys get the point. Uh, now we do the same thing, we're gonna save, publish to Roblox, submit, copy the ID. And again, if you guys wanna use the animation scooper, so if you guys like have an animation already and you don't know how to get it from a dummy, like you don't have it in the dummy, you have an animation instance right here, you just go right here. We're gonna copy the same ID because it's the same. We're gonna go, you see the preview right there, we're gonna go to convert, submit. And now it's just submit the same animation again. We go ahead and paste it right here. And the scripts are literally the same because R15 and R6 function off Lua is basically the same thing. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and press play. And now you see that our rate has changed completely. And now when we go ahead and select the tool and click punch, there we go. See, now it plays a different animation with more bones and everything is just much smoother. It looks a little bit different now. It's up to you guys' preference if you want to animate in R15 or R6. Uh, it's just entirely up to how you want your avatar to look. And, and now you can do a bunch of different animations right here. You can literally make it so you can go to animation editor and then we can like create a flipping animation for example. Let's say we delete all of these and we make a flipping animation. So we start off right here, then we start by uh, flipping the character like this, like making him go up in the air. Then we can like bend this a little, do this, just simple touch ups right here. Let me just click this. So it's kind of like doing a flip and I'm gonna show you what loop animations are and how you can utilize those. Uh, we can bend the legs too. And like see now, now he flips like that, we can not, like rotate him completely. There we go, and now we can rotate him again. There we go, now we can even move the legs back in this frame so it's kind of like he's landing. There we go. And now we can move him, like we can rotate him a little bit more. And like move him down so he's kind of like landing. There we go. Now you guys can use this right here to loop the animation basically so it like kind of goes on forever. We can go to public right here, submit, copy this ID, and then we can go into animation right here, paste it in. And now basically if we go ahead and test it out right here, it will like play forever. So once we punch, it will like really play forever and you can't stop it like until you die. So all we can do right here is we can go ahead and uh, go here and then we can do pass.wait. And then we can do, let's say, after 7 seconds, we can do track, stop. There we go. Now once we press play again, when we go in and click, it will start playing the animation. And after 7 seconds, it will basically just stop the full animation. See, there we go. Stop. If you click again, it does the same thing. And then after 7 seconds, it just basically stops the full animation completely. So yeah, it again comes down to your preference if you want to do R15 animations or R6.
uh, it just comes down to what's easier for you and what you feel most comfortable with. Uh, this is just a basic tutorial. I'm going to be going more in depth in next videos uh, about uh, how to make uh, animations and rigs and all that stuff. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos. Uh, so yeah, again, make sure to sub and turn notice on because I do have a giant giveaway coming in soon. Uh, that's really important. And also join the academy down below is the first link in the description. Uh, I teach all things I know there, like literally everything I do know gatekeeping. I teach you guys how to script, how to animate, how to create VFX like me, how to get commissions like me, how to get paid, how to create a personal brand, uh, how to uh, expand your audience, how to expand the development, how to get hired for big games, get hired for percentage, and so on and so on. So yeah. Very important stuff. We have a lot of students already, uh, so we're looking and we have also coaching calls, so one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, with students. Uh, we basically do it like two to three times a week. Uh, so yeah, that is very, uh, very fun and very uh, fulfilling. So again, make sure you guys join that down below. And uh, that's it for this video. Again, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.